Thank you so much to Care of for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. Today's video is going to be some of my current favorites, um, and I love doing these videos. I think they're really fun. I've been doing them for like four years now or three years now, and it's always just so fun because it's not just book stuff, although there is book stuff on this list, um, but it's also like my favorite face sunscreen I've been using and uh, some shirts and bike shorts I've picked up lately. And what would you figure? A soda stream. So, I mean, spoiler alert, but you know, there's stuff all over the place and I'm excited to talk about it. So yeah, today's video is a favorites. Let me know what some of your favorites are, whether that's sunscreen or bathing suits or favorite book that reminds you of summer or movie that brings in the beach cheer, whatever it is. Let's talk about it. So first, I am going to give you one of my favorites, which is the sponsor of this video, and that is Care Of. Now, I've already worked with Care Of before, so not only did I finish all of those vitamins, but I have been loving taking these vitamins. So um, it really is a favorite of mine. If you don't know what Care Of is, it is a supplement brand where you can either get powdered protein or you can get vitamins in these cool little personalized packs. Are you kidding? Look at that. It says, hi, Noel. And then it says, today's fact. Historically, peanuts have been used as one of the ingredients in dynamite. Yeah, hi, it's called a fact of the day. You ever heard of it? So when you sign up for Care of You take this really cool quiz where it asks you your age and how you sleep at night and how active you are, how many times you work out a week. Um, and then it also helps you figure out what type of vitamin you're looking for. Do you want something that might help your hair, that'll help your sleep, that'll help your energy levels. And then once you fill out all those questions, then Care of puts together a vitamin plan for you that you take daily that come again in these cute little packages. And it comes in this cool like standing tag hour that I love to put at my desk so that every morning when I sign into work, I know to just, come on, let's check the fact of the day or the question. Today's challenge, stop and smell a flower. Really, an actual flower, they're nice, right? So then you read it and you're like, ooh, maybe I should. And then you go outside and you do something productive. If you'd like to try care for yourself, you can click the link in my description to take that quiz that I was just talking about. And then you can also use my code NOELLG50 for 50% off your first order. So thank you so much to care of for sponsoring this video. I am genuinely so excited that they wanted to work with me because I love taking these vitamins. Um, and now let's get into the other favorites that I have currently. So with favorites in mind, I think we should start in the book category, just because this mainly is a channel about books. So I do have a bunch of other shit to talk about, but I think let's start with the books or bookish things. First, let's talk about some apps that I've been loving. So the first app I want to talk about is Libro FM. I'm sure many of us have heard about it, but basically Libro FM is if you let's just say maybe you're using a library based app to find your new audiobook but you go look for the audiobook you want and it's all checked out at your library so you're not able to get it libro fm is an awesome alternative to this so you can go to libro fm to buy an audiobook that directly supports local bookstores or small bookstores family owned bookstores instead of supporting some of the corporate giants in the bookstore territory or book shopping territory or audiobook territory. And if you maybe can't find an audiobook through a library app and instead you'd like to buy an audiobook, I highly recommend checking to see if Libro FM has it because I have found many an audiobooks on there and I just feel better buying it on Libro FM, if you catch my drift. And then after Libro FM, which is a great way to buy books, um, the other apps I've been loving. Now, I've talked about Libby a million times. It's this great app that you can plug in multiple library cards to, and then you can access a million audiobooks and eBooks. Not literally a million, but you can you can access a lot of them. And then once you access them, you get them like through your library. So you get them for free. And what I've been doing lately, and this is not a new concept for Libby, it's just that I've only really used Libby for audiobooks. But lately, I have found a couple pretty good ebooks, and you rent them on Libby, but then I get them delivered to my Kindle app. And I have, 
I've been really enjoying a good ebook these days. So that's been really fun. Um, I've never had anything against ebooks. I think they're awesome, but I've always just been more of a physical book reader. But lately, I don't know, the ease of use with an ebook is just so tempting. Um, so that's really exciting. And that's what I've been using Libby for more often these days. Anyway, those are the bookish things I've been loving. Next, I let's talk about beauty. <laughs> Why not, right? We talked about helping your insides through care of. Let's talk about the outside for a second. Why not? Um, I want to talk about my new favorite face sunscreen in the world. Dear heaven above, uh, I've never used such good face sunscreen in my life. And that is the Tula Skin Care Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Probiotics and Superfoods. I don't really know what that means. Like, is there superfoods in this? I don't know. Clean and effective SPF. In any case, I love it. You need the smallest amount for it to cover your entire face. And Lord knows I would know because I have a huge head and a huge face. Um, and I don't just, I'm not just saying that. I really have a melon for a head. Um, and so I don't know, it, it covers with the smallest amount of product. There's also a little bit of a shine in it. So it, it makes your skin glow a little bit, not like sparkles. It's just like a little, what would you call it? A little silky, like there's a little bit of a shimmer. And I think that's really cool. When I first noticed it, I mean, I had put it on a couple times and then one day I was inspecting my face pretty close up and I was like, why am I glowing from within? Turns out it was the Tula Skincare SPF face sunscreen. So SPF and sunscreen are the same words. So <laughs> it's like saying ATM machine. My, my brother hates it. Anyway. That's that. Another beauty product I've been loving. Um, let me be honest. I know that everyone loves a good dry shampoo um, or most people love dry shampoo uh, when your hair gets greasy and you just need a little bit of a touch up. But my hair just has never found the right product. Usually dry shampoo just makes my hair feel disgusting, like just horrible, 10 times worse than when it's greasy. Um, and so usually I just swear off the product, but I wanted something that gave my hair a little bit of body, you know, like first day hair, it's like way too silky and way too like just flat. I wanted something that gave it a little something, but didn't make my hair feel dirty. And so I've been using the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I may have talked about this in another favorites video. And if I have, that just shows you how much I've been liking this. Um, because again, it, it does give you that kind of just a little bit of grit so that you have a little more volume, but does not make my hair feel dirty. And it smells amazing, my friends like coconuts and just like fresh hair. So been loving that. Next up, we've got a couple of bags. Um, this kind of took the internet by storm and it took my heart by storm. And that is the Kate Spade Strawberry Collection. Yes, um, this is my everyday wallet. I love it so much, little strawberries everywhere. Super, super cute, amazing, high quality. I know it's gonna last a long time. And then we have the cute matching purse. Now here's the deal. The purse is amazing, super cute, awesome. I love a long strap, amazing. But here's the problem. I'll just show you. I, I won't even tell you, I'll just show you, right? So you open this up, cute, kind of pink silk. The matching wallet. Good luck. It does not fit. <laughs> the wallet does not fit in here. I would have to squish the wallet down, crease it, break it basically for it to fit in here. It looks like it almost does, right? Nearly, nearly does, but I'm pushing on it and it's not going in. So you know what? That was a little disappointing. I've tried it where I go at an angle and it just makes it stick out even more. It doesn't go in horizontally because it's too long. So that's not my favorite, but each piece individually is a gem. So in terms of my strawberry loving heart, 
I really love these, but the design process, like why? Why wouldn't you make sure that the wallet that matches the purse, why wouldn't you make sure those fit together? I don't know. I'm not a designer, but to me, I'm just a little frustrated. I don't know, sue me. Another bag I've been absolutely loving. I have become someone I never thought I would be. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, this is a fanny pack that I'm gonna talk about, and I love fanny packs. I've always loved fanny packs. I've been wearing fanny packs to the gym. Well, you know, not for like the last year and a half when we weren't going to the gym, but when I was going to the gym for like five years, I used a fanny pack every single day. So no beef with fanny packs but I have started to use a new fanny pack. It's from Lululemon and I think it's awesome. I think it's super slick, waterproof, awesome, lots of little compartments, but then also still super small. But I have started to wear the fanny pack over the shoulder, you know, in front of the body. I never thought I would get here. And I'm not saying that I ever thought it was lame. I just thought, no, I'm a purist. I am going to stick to like how you normally use a fanny pack. It's always gonna go around. Yes, you guessed it, the fanny. Um, and so when I started doing the kind of crossbody, I was like, I have nothing against anyone else doing it. I just never thought I was gonna do it. So I fully embraced the over the shoulder life. And I'm loving this bag. Again, waterproof. I love how thick the strap is because the one that I have or the old one that I have was super, super skinny. It almost looked like you were using like a shoelace to keep it up and it was a little strange. So I love it. I think it's awesome. It was like 35 bucks and I think it was worth every penny. So loving it. Speaking of Lululemon, I mean, why not? Um, I don't, I have, in the past, I've had one pair of Lululemon leggings. I got one pair and then was like, never buying another, cause that was expensive. Um, but then I got really into the, you know, oversized long shirts with the basketball, or with the bike shorts. I, I just really love that look. It's like so, I don't know, it's so effortless. And some people might think it looks like shit. I think it looks really comfortable, but also kind of cute. Cause like your legs are out and I really like my legs, so whatever. Um, that was weird. <laughs> that was a weird thing to admit. I don't know. Um, anyway, I picked up some Lululemon bike shorts. They just look like this. Is this weird to be showing? I don't know. Um, but I picked up some bike shorts. They are the Align six inch, right? Six inch or I know there's like a six, like maybe a four, six, eight, and 10 inch, like how long they go down your legs. Um, and I got the six because it's kind of like mid thigh for me. I didn't want it to hit my knees, which is more of an eight. I want it to be in the middle of my thigh. And these are awesome. They are the most comfortable bike shorts I've ever, ever worn in my life. And I've tried many pairs <laughs> and this, these take the cake. So really enjoying these. They're, they're pricey, right? They're like 58 bucks for a pair, but I think this pair, you know, I only bought one and uh, I think it's gonna last me a very long time and it feels like butter on the skin. So I, I really enjoy. Next up, let's talk about some jewelry now. Um, this is where things get serious, my friends. Um, as you all know, or as maybe many of you know, I did a collaboration with Ana Luisa. I have a necklace with them. It's this really cute hand with a little gem. I'm very proud of it. I think it's very me. However, woo, Hannah on BookTube, um, A Clockwork Reads, she came out with a necklace with Ana Luisa where it feels like she literally read my mind on what the prettiest necklace in the world could be. <laughs> Now, again, I, I made a necklace with them and yet Hannah's like speaks to my soul. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. It's the only necklace I'm wearing. You guys know I usually stack a bunch of my necklaces on top of each other. But when I saw hers, I was like, I can kind of just cruise with this one for a little while. And I love it. It's like in this cool little gold frame. It's like mother of pearl background. So it has like the pearlescent kind of duochrome pinkish blues. And then there's a rose in the middle. And I don't know how she got into my cranium and figured out what I needed in a necklace, but she nailed it. She hit it out of the park. It's like, 
I think it's so pretty. And what I love is that it does have that mother of pearl. So it's not just a coin necklace and coin necklaces I love. They're like so shiny and pretty, but this just, it's an extra step up. And I think it's fucking stunning. So congratulations to Hannah. It sold out on the first day and I signed up for um, the wait list immediately and then just waited, just waited. And then the moment it was announced that it came back, I went and bought one the day of, and it came like two days later. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for this one. Uh, another Ana Luisa piece that I've been wearing a lot is this gold kind of braided ring, which I really like. I've wanted a pointer ring for a while. Also, just so you know, this, this video is sponsored by Care Of, not Ana Luisa. Um, it's just that I have some really cool pieces from them and I wanted to show them off. So um, anyway, uh, this cool little braided ring. And then lastly, these were a pair of earrings I'd had my eye on for a very long time and Ana Luisa sent them to me. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa. They did not send me this necklace. This one I bought fully on my own, like right when it was announced that it was restocked, I went and bought it. Um, but the Ana Luisa did send me these, which I'm really excited about. And it is these like almost like dishes, like they almost look like plates, but they're just like these really pretty, like have some pink flower details on them. Oh my God, they're just so beautiful, right? And when I wear them, I get immediate questions. I wore them in front of my family. And I think immediately my mom was like, whoa, those are sweet. I was like, thanks. And then my sister saw them and she was like, those are cute. So I really like them. I think they're a bit of a statement, but like an understated statement, you know? Like they're not so eye-catching, but then when they just catch the light and you get a little bit of gold and a little bit of the like white paint, like ceramic looking pattern, I just think it's awesome. So uh, really love those. So yeah, thanks so much to Ana Luisa for sending me those earrings. They also sent me this ring. So that was really sweet of them. I will leave the links to these pieces down in the description. I do not have an affiliate link with Ana Luisa. I only have a necklace with them. Um, so you can click those links and I won't get any money from it. But if you don't trust me on that, <laughs> I'll also leave the names of the pieces down in the description. So if you just wanna search them on your own, you totally can. But I will have the links down there as well. So yeah, that's some, that's some jewelry I've been loving. Let's now talk about the beautiful baby I showed you at the beginning, which is my soda stream. I have to use my soda stream in the garage so that Parker doesn't hear it because if he hears it, he will be furious, just absolutely furious with you. Um, anyway, if you don't know what a soda stream is, it's just like you have like a bottle that you fill up with regular tap water and then you put it in the stream thing here and then you press this button on top and then it carbonates your water. So it's like making sparkling water and it has saved me a lot of money instead of buying LaCroix constantly. I have been using this a lot more often and you get some flavor drops so that it's not just straight up sparkling water. I've had mango, I've had orange, I've had grapefruit, I've had cherry. So I've tried a lot of the flavors and I think it's really cool. It really has saved me a lot of money, so. It's like a hundred bucks up front, but then I wasn't buying sparkling water at all for like months and months and months. So I think it's awesome. And I think it's a cute investment in your kitchen appliance section. And then lastly, I do want to show you some stationary things that I was sent by a company named Sterling Inc. They asked if they could send me some, um, stationary things and they did just that and they are stunning. So um, I'll leave links to Sterling Inc down below, but we've got some washi tape, which just is gorgeous. So beautiful, such great detailing. We've got some more. Look at how beautiful. Imagine that in a journal. I won't have to imagine it because I'm gonna use them. And then, oh my God. I don't know if I've talked about how much I love stickers, but I fucking love stickers. And um, she sent me quite a few. Let's see. We've got, dude, look at this. Look at this sheet of stickers. Florals, my favorite thing in the world. 
We've got these like cool kind of shimmery orange and grapefruit slices. We've got some more flowers. Look, we've even got yellow flowers and fruits. Oh my God, butterflies. I just scheduled a tattoo for a little tiny butterfly. And so this is even cooler. Um, oh, and even look, some initials, some N's, but they look like wax seals and some G's. It's funny because my last name is Gallagher, so I should have known, but actually my best friend's name is Grace. So <laughs> um, I thought she knew that for some reason. <laughs> um, so that's amazing. This is really exciting. I, ugh, I love stationery. I love it. I think it's so fun. And I always feel like a new bitch whenever I get some. So thank you so much to Sterling Inc. for sending me some stationery things. I'm very appreciative. I cannot wait to use them. Anyway, my friends, that is the end of this video. Please let me know what some of your favorites are lately. Please let me know what videos you'd like to see on this channel. And thank you again to Kara for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys had fun and I hope to see you in the next one.